So let's build an e-bike. How's it going guys? This is my first e-bike build. So I tried to put together a cheap e-bike with a 350 watt brushed motor. It is not the geared motor. So these are basically the motors you'd find on a scooter. So the things I purchased here were motor, 500 watt controller with hand grip, chain and sprocket and freewheel sprocket. Batteries were free. Bike was a free find. It was actually in the trash. When I put this bike together, I actually took some things into consideration. So this motor here is usually used in scooters and for those little dirt bikes for kids. I had to do a little bit of research to figure out if this would actually work. That's why I chose the kids bike because the kids bike has smaller wheels and that's really important because the bigger the wheel this motor is just not going to move the bike. It may work as an assist but I wanted this to work as an actual e-bike. This bike is fully functional as an adult's bike and it's a kid's frame so that's why I had to raise up this pole. We have our motor 24 volt motor attached to this pedestal and these are just 
these pieces of angle iron. They're welded to the bike, but you could bolt them to the bike. So I did that because it's a little faster. You could bolt all this together. So we have our controller under here. There's a 500 watt, 24 volt brush controller. I welded the freewheel sprocket right onto the hub of the bike here. The reason why I did that is because I wanted to keep the chain drive of the bike. So the 25H sprocket is then bolted to the freewheel sprocket. So we can take all that apart. So the other way to do is take the cartridge off, put two freewheel adapters, and then you run your motor on one. But then you've lost your gears. So this is actually the best way to do it. Unfortunately, you need to weld. So to turn on the bike, all you got to do is flick the switch here, turn the throttle. I don't want to give any false performance on this right now with the batteries that I have. Once it comes off the charger, it goes pretty good on a flat ground. I made it up a hill. Hell test. Oh, I'm struggling. It's a pretty steep hill. But after that, the batteries start dying off pretty quick. So I think my batteries are the problem. So I'll have to try it out in another video. I'm waiting on some 18650s to come and I'll put together a battery pack.